Hi, Alex. How's it going? Hello, hello. Good. How are you, Hector? <laughs> yeah, all good. All good. Um, we've got quite a few people trickling in. Um, what do you think? Should we kick off? Let's do it. Nice. Nice. Okay, cool. Um, well, hi, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, my name is Hector. I uh, head up the customer success team here at Fusey. Um, my job fundamentally is uh, to ensure customers get the best out of our platform. Uh, so I end up spending most of my time talking to our users, making sure they're running their business in the best possible way uh, and really using Fusey to sort of maximize their value um, and, and help grow their business. Um, prior to Fusey, I had a few different jobs. Uh, I worked in consulting uh, and tech, and I was also an engineer in the construction industry. So um, a bit of a, a bit of a varied CV, I suppose. Um, but yes, Alex, I'll let you introduce yourself. Hey everybody, uh, my name's Alex. I am the co-founder of Fusey. Um, I started this business about uh, two years ago with the vision and mission to help business owners like yourself. So e-commerce business, uh, e e-commerce business owners uh, all across the world better connect with their customers through messaging and customer communication. So super excited to be talking to you guys today and uh, yeah, ready to kick off. Wonderful, cool. So in terms of the agenda, Here's what we're going to talk about today. Uh, first, I want to talk over. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about, you know, the reasons why you should be harnessing the power of messaging as your primary form of communication. Uh, we think that that's, you know, by far the most important piece, and that's what we really want to focus on. But you know, then we really want to talk about, you know, why staying in your pockets, your your customers' pockets, is essential. We'll talk about it a little bit more in a couple of minutes, but ultimately making sure that you can stay in front of and engaged with every single lead and customer that comes through is super, super important. E-commerce is a competitive game and we're here to help you navigate that. Yeah, absolutely. And, and then we'll show you how you can take your customers on the whole journey from uh, that first initial inquiry all the way through the business cycle to leaving you a glowing review at the end. Um, and all with the power of messaging apps that we all use every single day that everyone is super used to. Um, we'll close up at the end with uh, just sort of a few short examples on how automations can, can make your life a bit easier um, and streamline your day-to-day -day, uh, activities and admin, really. Um, right, enough talk on the agenda. Let's get started. Awesome. Brilliant, cool. So um, only dinosaurs use email. So let's start by saying that nowadays, it really is only dinosaurs that use email. Um, I mean, like if you're, if you're really honest with yourselves, uh, when was the last time you opened a promotional email and actually read it uh, and actually got any value from it? I mean, personally, my inbox is way too crowded for me to check anything. And I mean, if you look at the stats on your screen right now, it is pretty telling um, that most people simply aren't good at reading their emails uh, and people are even worse at replying to their emails. Um, but if we turn to messaging, uh, you know, all the standard apps that you're used to uh, on your phone, you can see all the all the logos there. Um, if we look at messaging, we instead see an average of a 98% open rate, which is massively better than email, uh, and a reply rate on top of that of 45%. So that's five and nine times more than email. So that's a massive win. Um, and on top of that, nine out of 10 emails are opened within three minutes of receipt. So um, that kind of shows how responsive your customers could be if you engage them quickly and engage them on the right channels. So I, I spot on. I, I think finally, it's probably just worth mentioning that customers are ready for this. Um, you know, many already, you know, many customers have actually already come to us um, saying that they think the company should be getting in touch with, with messages, you know, via messages more. And look, speaking from purely personal experience, I can't tell you how helpful it is to have offers and customer support on hand. I mean, I, I you know, I, 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 I shudder to think about calling a 1-800 number, waiting a long time on the phone, or even dropping an email and kind of wondering, when am I going to get reply? I mean, ultimately, what's really nice about, you know, being able to message is that you know that there's somebody on the other side, somebody who can, who can address this quickly, and ultimately, who can help fix the problem. So, what does this mean for you then? And how can you help convert this interest into, uh, into sales quickly, uh, you know, thanks to messaging. Really, at the end of the day, messaging will help you convert leads into sales. And, you know, with the sales that have already been completed, will help you retain more customers and will help you actually continue to, to harvest those, you know, through their life cycle. I think, again, in, in, in the times of downturns, like we're unfortunately, you know, getting ready to, uh, to enter right now, 
you know, there's nothing like a, a customer that already knows you, appreciates the things that you sell, and ultimately really likes the company that that, that you have. Um, it's a lot easier to be able to harvest from those existing customers than to get new ones. And really, at the end of the day, messaging can help you do exactly that. Yeah, and in order to do that, it is important that you, as we like to say, um, make sure that you stay in your customers' pockets. It's it's a phrase that we like to use all the time. And, and what this means is putting your customer first when it comes to choosing the right communication channels. Um, and, and, you know, we all have our own favorite communication channel and your customers are no different. So, you know, it's really important that you give them the chance to pick their favorite. Um, and remember, customers using the channels um, that they're most comfortable with increases your chance of success with them. So it increases the chance that you're actually going to make that sale that you're trying to make. Yeah. And, and look, I mean, I just on a personal level to, to, to kind of, you know, give a little color to that. You know, if I think about the, the channels that we list here on our website, which is uh, like the ones that we provide all of our customers, uh, we have a couple of different options here. We have WhatsApp, SMS, Facebook Messenger, Instagram, email, and the ability to leave information via a contact form. On my phone, WhatsApp, SMS, both are, you know, uh, are, are open for notifications. But I actually shut my notifications off for Facebook Messenger and Instagram because that's my personal preference in terms of channels. So I'll always reach out with either SMS or WhatsApp, but this might be flipped over for, for, for Hector or for, for any one of you guys, you know, in, uh, in, in today's session. And I think it's just an important thing to kind of really emphasize that it's incredibly important to just centralize all of your inquiries into kind of one place. Um, and then really at the end of the day, like provide a, a, a super easy all in one inbox to you where you can reply quickly and never lose interest to, uh, to another competitor. Because the other thing that we think other than staying in people's pockets is being really, really, really quick in terms of activating that interest and, and, and convert, you know, uh, and converting it. So, um, so yeah, yeah and, that's, and, uh, and we, that's we see, we, we see this all the time with our customers as well. The faster they reply, the, um, the, the better they do. Um, so let's get to the fun bit. Let's have a look at how the entire journey uh, of a customer runs from, you know, that first interest all the way to that five star super positive review. Uh, and let's let's just sort of walk you through how, how this can happen super smoothly, really effectively on the same thread uh, on the channel that uh, the customer chose. Awesome. All right. So if we want to just kind of take a look at these three screens right here. I'll walk you through exactly how this kind of all comes to be. On the uh, on the on the leftmost uh, screen, you'll see, you know, um, Uzuma here has reached out through, via WhatsApp to your website widget, right? He was on the uh, he was on your website that he really wants uh, some some pumpkin spiced uh, you know drinks, and has asked when those will be back in stock um, so he can order more. It's a classic uh, off autumnal uh, kind of order. Uh, lucky for him, this will all be back in stock tomorrow. So you can offer him to complete the purchase all on WhatsApp, where you're already chatting much like you would a friend. Um, he's excited to buy his drink and agrees. That makes it things even easier for him because he doesn't have to go back to your website. He doesn't have to go back to another cart. He can simply order everything he's just asked for all in one flow, all through messaging. Right? Once he's confirmed the delivery address, you can actually generate a payment link straight through Fusey. And Uzuma can actually complete, complete this payment via card or bank transfer all through his uh, his phone, his computer, or wherever he might be messaging you from. If he chooses to do either, the payments are super quick. If he chooses you to, uh, to pay you via bank transfer, obviously that settles instantly, and it's incredibly easy, uh, you know, on on your side getting uh, getting payment even before you have to send as well, right? From Uzuma's side, he's super happy about how how smooth everything went, uh, and then ultimately, you know, once everything's delivered and everybody's happy it's really easy to send over a template to request a review. Uh, and ultimately, if, if you've had a great customer experience in terms of communication and facilitating that sale, it's even more likely that ultimately you'll leave one. Our process, our review process is incredibly easy. All he has to do is click a link that pops right into, you know, the, the messaging app of his choice, and boom, he can leave a review on the, uh, you know, on the platform of your choice. Through Fusey, you can garner reviews on a whole range of them be that Trustpilot, Google, and more. So we really make it easy for you to, call, you know, you know, really manage that entire customer process all through, again, messages. And I think, again, speaking, you know, speaking from personal experience, it's just incredibly convenient to be able to actually say, look, I want to buy this particular thing. I know to whom I should reach out. This is what I want. I'd like to pay for it quickly. 
and ultimately I, I'm happy to leave a review as a result. So really simple way to to be able to kind of capture that entire you know customer journey all in one flow. And 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 to be honest, I mean this is this is really exciting to us. Like we we love building this sort of stuff and 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 making it so easy. You can see how from the from the customer side, it's a very slick and easy process. Um, so let's look at a couple of examples on how templates and automations can make your life a bit easier uh, and reduce your admin. Um, so you can send promotional campaigns via SMS or WhatsApp, which uh, benefit you with the open and reply rates, which we obviously saw on a, on an earlier slide. So you know you're going to be beating the the more traditional channels of uh, emails and phone calls. And you can set up abandoned cart messages on a channel that your customers are more likely to engage with, especially compared to email, which again, just, just gives you a better chance of collecting that customer and making sure that they go from a customer to a lead. And finally, you can schedule those automated delivery updates just to keep them in the loop, um, make them feel looked after, and also just, you know, let them know when uh, their sort of, uh, their precious order, their goodies are heading to their doorstep, which I mean, that's that's the whole cycle. There we go. Again, the entire kind of focus of, of everything that we do is to make your life easier, to keep your focus on really what matters, which is developing great products, selling great products, and ultimately leveraging your brand to do that. Um, and we make it that much simpler to reach the people that you're trying to reach, get paid, and ultimately build your business. That is the entire purpose and philosophy that we have at Fusey. And we think that what we do really makes that much, uh, much easier. So look, to recap before we low, uh, let you go and, uh, and grab a pint, I just wanted to, uh, to share with you what we learned today. Um, you know, a solution like Fusey's website, uh, website, web chat widget really will allow you to give your prospects the chance to send an inquiry through the platform of their choice. We think that that's going to be a very helpful way of being able to, you know, stay in front of the right people and ultimately activate them in, you know, on your own terms. Um, so really stop limiting your requests by limiting your online presence. Um, the second piece is a solution like Fusey's All Online Inbox centralizes all of your inquiries and conversations into one place, no matter what channel they're on. Um, gone are the days of missed inquiries and, and checking your apps several times a day. Instead, with Fusey, you can get back to people immediately and stay on top of every single lead. And look, finally, Fusey's templates and automations help you get back to your prospects and customers that much more quickly, convert them into a sale even easier, uh, than ever before, and ultimately take them on the journey from inquiry to review all within the same chat. We really think that that is a game changer for every business, but particularly in the e-commerce segment. And we're really thrilled to bring that to market and get people going. So uh, with that, we wanted to kind of turn the things around and uh, and and get some get some <laughs> questions and, uh, and and take it from there. So any questions? Alex, it looks like there's one that's just come in. Um, sure. Could you go through the payment options in more detail uh, and what are the associated fees? That's a very good question. It's a great question. Uh, yeah, happy to do that. Um, look, as we continue to build the platform, there will be more and more message, sorry, messaging payment options for you uh, as you go. Um, right now, we offer two key payment options. The first is our card integration, which is, uh, which is provided to us via Stripe. We've been able to negotiate a very competitive rate with them that within the UK starts at 1.4% um, and, and provides you a, a super easy way to, again, take payment and, uh, and, and get that into your bank account quickly. Obviously for different markets, we have different quotes, but uh, I'll, I'll just keep that UK focus for now. On the bank to bank side, uh, again, super simple. We, we charge 0.5% uh, and then ultimately the max fee is, is up to $5, five pounds. But if you think about it, 0.5% uh, of money in your bank account today, is a pretty nifty way to uh, to build that uh, cash flow. So that's uh, that's what we do. Right Any on. other questions out there? I think uh, actually I've just seen one come through. What is the deal with GDPR uh, when doing SMS or WhatsApp marketing? Nice. I can I can grab that one. I've been uh, I've been looking at this uh, quite a lot recently. So it's it's a very, very good, good question, and, um, and 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 I think lots of people get overly confused about this and overly worried. Um, the, the fundamental thing you just need to remember is you need to have a legal basis for contacting that customer. Um, either they are an existing customer, you have a contractual arrangement with them, doesn't need to be something that's written, or you need to have um, some evidence that they have a legitimate interest. So it might be that they've 
sent you a message to say, oh, I'm, I'm really interested in your product. Can you tell me a bit more? Maybe they've signed up to a mailing list, something like that. If they have um, any evidence of a legitimate interest in, um, you know, the, the product or service that you're building um, and that you're selling, uh, then you're absolutely allowed to, uh, to market to them. Um, it's worth noting that you do need to make it quite clear to them uh, what the options are for sort of opting out of that marketing. It needs to be, you know, whether you add a line at the end of your text or WhatsApp messages to say, you know, reply, stop in block caps to, um, to opt out. You need to give them that option. But, but in most cases, if they have a legitimate interest or you have a contractual arrangement with them, you're able to, um, to market to them. The final case is if you directly gather consent from them. And this is normally only needed if they've not um, uh, exhibited sort of a, a legitimate interest or you don't have a contractual arrangement, but you still want to be able to sell them your product. You can still go to them directly and say, we think you would be a good customer for this. Um, and we would like to gather your consent for that, which they can obviously manually provide. So um, in most cases, you know, you're pretty fine as long as you just sort of um, allow people to opt out and uh, just play it slightly safer than you would messaging a customer. Awesome. Cool. Um, any other questions here? Yeah, I see one last one. You want to take this, Hector? This is, uh, which channels do we include in the all-in-one inbox? Uh, yes, yeah, happy to take this one. So um, uh, unlike, I think, pretty much all our peers, correct, correct me if I'm wrong, Alex, um, I think we have pretty much the most channels of anyone. We have uh, SMS and WhatsApp are our sort of two primary channels. We also connect to your um, Facebook Messenger and Instagram Messenger. Um, and we also allow for emails and phone calls as well. Um, and with our upcoming Zapier integration, we'll actually have um, all the channels, uh, such as Telegram, et cetera, that are all connected to Zapier too. So um, basically, whichever channel you can think of, we can handle. But uh, the core ones we feel are always going to be uh, WhatsApp, text, and Facebook Messenger. Yeah, and that's right. And, and I think, I mean, the only other thing to add to that is Every single day we get a new request from, you know, one of our customers about a channel that might be helpful. And I think the important kind of thing to emphasize here is that this is a journey, right? So we're, you know, in our early phases, we've, we're very happy with the, with the channel composition that we have, and it, it works for the vast majority of our customers. But our, if, if and when new channels kind of pop up, our job is to make that accessible for you. And that's where we're, uh, that's where we're going with it. So, so very good. I think with that, that's probably all the time we have today, but just wanted to offer you know everybody that's watching uh, to check out our website for more information. Uh, you can feel free to download the slides you know uh, there and and uh, and you know just learn more about our proposition and how we can help. Obviously, if if you'd like to get in touch with us at, uh, for any questions or or any more information, please feel free to to get in touch with us at hello at getfusy.com or head to our website and uh, and obviously use our web chat widget to get in touch with us uh, and ask us any more uh, any more questions. Um, and until next time, thanks so much for coming and look forward to seeing you next. Take care. Thanks very much. And Chris. thanks, Hector. Ciao, guys. Thanks. Bye.